which is the tallest mountain in the world how many consonants are there in the english alphabet what is the next number in the following sequence 7 14 21 28 such questions may help to know academic progress of a child during a lesson academic progress of a student is one of the main objectives of evaluation system in a school evaluation system is an integral indivisible and undivided part of teaching learning process evaluation is a broader term than the measurement it includes both tangible and intangible qualities school based evaluation of students should be continuous and comprehensive that covers all features of students development namaste konnichiwa comprehensive comparison of one aspect of two different countries is always a difficult task it is due to geographical cultural and economical differences in this video i have tried to compare evaluation system for students in primary classes of india and that of japan in order to give real touch to my presentation i have taken the help of a primary teacher mrs megha and a headmaster mr divya swarup mohanty of akendra vidyalay in india moreover to know evaluation system in primary classes in japan i have taken interview of vice principal of kogane elementary school mr sukamoto i also had a telephonic conversation with mrs kaori who is a teacher at kogani elementary school first of all let us see evaluation system in primary classes in india namaskar today i am going to speak on the evaluation pattern in kendra vidyalaya primary classes in kendra vidyalaya are divided into two groups lower primary and upper primary lower primary is consist of classes 1 and 2 i am going to tell you how the students are evaluated in classes 1 and 2 there are four teaching subjects two are language subjects that is english and hindi the other two subjects are mathematics and environmental studies we follow CCE evaluation pattern for classes 1 and 2 CCE stands for continuous and comprehensive evaluation CCE is done through eight cycles one cycle in one month from the beginning of the session that is from april till the end of the ses- session that is till march we complete eight cycles and at the end of each month we can say at the end of each cycle we awarded our students with grades teaching and evaluation both are done keeping in mind some targeted competencies let me tell you the competencies which we evaluate in each subjects in the language subject we ta- evaluate the competencies like listening speaking reading writing spellings vocabulary and their handwriting in mathematics subject we evaluate the competencies like fun with numbers understanding the basic concepts ability to compute and problem solving ability in environmental studies we evaluate the competencies like observation identification and classification discovering facts and 
group activities. These above said competencies are evaluated continuously while teaching them, while engaging them in some hand-on activities, through graded worksheets and many more. This evaluation pattern is followed every month and students are graded on the basis of the performance. There is no formal test or we can say there is a no special pen paper exam for them. Other than these teaching subjects, we evaluate them in co-scholastic subjects like art, music, physical education twice in a year and we also provide them grades for these subjects also. At the end, I would like to add that evaluation through CCE is for complete and comprehensive development of child. That's all. Thank you. This is a sample of report card for grade 1 and grade 2 which is given at the end of academic year to all students. Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to discuss about the evaluation procedure followed in Kendriya Vidyale Sangathan, which is an organization having more than 1200 national schools all over India. In primary section, there are five classes, class 1 to 5. Class 1 and 2 are called as lower primary classes and 3, 4 and 5 are called as upper primary classes. So I will focus on class 3 to 5. Every academic session begins on 1st April of every year and it ends on 31st March in the next year. One session is divided into two terms, first term and second term. So in each term, two examinations are conducted. In term 1, periodic test 1 and half fill examinations are conducted. And in term 2, periodic test 2 and session ending examinations are conducted. Periodic test 1 is conducted in the month of July. Half fill examination is conducted in the month of September. Periodic test 2 is conducted in the month of January. And session ending examination is conducted in the month of March. So now let us understand about the subjects. There are four subjects in primary section. English, Hindi, Mathematics and Environmental Studies. English and Hindi both are the major languages. Mathematics is known to everyone and Environmental Studies is the combination of both Science and Social Studies. And in each of the examination, different competencies are tested. So what are the competencies? In languages, we have seven competencies. Reading, Comprehension Question, Grammar, Creative Writing, Vocabulary, Spelling and Handwriting. Like in Mathematics, there are Concepts, Ability to Compute and Problem Solving Ability. In Environmental Studies, there are Observation, Identification and Discovery of Facts are there. So, different marks are allotted for different competencies. So, let us go through the mark distribution and weightage. Periodic test 1 is conducted for 40 marks and half yearly and session ending examinations are conducted for 80 marks. But in periodic test 1 and 2, those 40 marks are reduced to 10 marks. But in session ending examination and half yearly examination, no reduction is there. So, we have got 90 marks. The remaining 10 marks are divided into two categories. One is subject enrichment activity and another one is notebook submission. So subject enrichment activity is the activity conducted by the teachers to find out the understanding by the children in each subject. For example, in languages, the teachers conduct 
poem recitation storytelling role play dramatization creative writing then interview etc so in mathematics the board has already set some activities which have to be completed in a academic session so a teacher has to complete at least 10 activities based on the learning outcomes and in environmental studies there are awareness programs uh, field trips quiz survey and projects so a teacher chooses four to five activities according to his or her choice or depends it depends upon the standard of the children and the average of all the activities decides the final mark for subject enrichment activity so like this in a notebook submission also there are some criteria these are neatness regularity maintenance of notebook and completion of tasks here also the average decides the final mark so we have got 10 marks from periodic test 5 marks each from subject enrichment and notebook submission and 80 marks from session and examination or half yearly examination so 100 marks completed for scholastic areas now apart from these scholastic areas there are course scholastic areas these areas are evaluated by the subject experts or by the class teachers these course scholastic areas are music art and craft and physical education apart from everything computer education is also there the computer instructor takes the pen and paper test but till now it has not been added in our academic subjects so as you can see that we have taken care of all round development of each child so i think i have given some information regarding the evaluation process so that's all from my side thank you so much this is a sample of report card of class 3 to class 5 in kendra vidyalay here you can see the details like scholastic areas and co scholastic areas at the end of the year after evaluating scholastic areas of a student studying in class 3 to class 5 is given marks and grades both whereas co scholastic areas are evaluated by giving grade Here you can see grading scale for scholastic areas and grading scale for co-scholastic areas. To know about evaluation system of an elementary school of Japan, I visited Kogane Elementary School and took an interview of Mr. Tsukamoto, who is vice principal of the school. Now I am going to share. highlighting aspects of evaluation system of kogane elementary school school system of 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 exist in japan primary or elementary education in japan is of 6 years grade 1 to grade 6 there are 3 semesters in each academic year subjects like japanese social science mathematics science life music arts home economics pe and foreign language are offered to the students in a primary school of japan allotment of these subjects vary from grade to grade that you can see in this image earlier a foreign language that is english used to be taught from grade 5 but nowadays in many public schools of japan english education begins in grade 3 in every grade each subject has certain desirable learning outcomes students are evaluated on the basis of attainment of these learning outcomes this is the report card of grade 5 let us take example of subject japanese it is mentioned in it that a student should acquire the knowledge and skills of the national language necessary for daily life and become familiar with and understand the language culture of japan a student should cultivate the ability to think in a national way and the ability to feel and imagine richly and hence the ability to communicate in relationships with people in daily life seeing the level of achievement of these 
learning outcomes. Teacher puts stick mark in appropriate column of very good, good or needs improvement. Seeing the need of a topic, various written, oral and practical tests are conducted throughout the semester. A teacher keeps record of all the evaluation tests that he or she has taken during the semester. At the end of every semester, a pen paper test is conducted for 45 minutes in each subject. In short, the evaluation system for students in an elementary school of Japan serves the purpose of evaluation that is to gather relevant information about student performance or progress or to determine student interest to make judgment about their learning process. Now let us see some similarities in evaluation system of Kendra Vidyalai and Kogane Elementary School. First one, nature of evaluation. It is continuous and comprehensive process. Second one, types of test. It can be oral, written or practical. Third one, question papers are set by teachers seeing the need of content. Fourth one, purpose or learning outcomes of each subject has been prescribed in detail. Fifth one, record of all the activities which are carried out during continuous evaluation is well maintained by teachers. Sixth one, the main aim of evaluation is to enhance students' individual abilities and develop a basis for their social independence and basic abilities as citizens of the nation. Now let us see some differences in evaluation system of Kendra Vidyale and Kogani Elementary School. First one, elementary schooling is from grade 1 to grade 5 in Kendra Vidyale, whereas in Kogani Elementary School, it is consist of grade 1 to grade 6. In Kendri Vidyale, academic year is divided into two semesters, whereas in Kogani Elementary School, academic year is divided into three semesters. Report cards are given to all students in Kendra Vidyale. But in Kogani Elementary School, report cards are given to the students of grade 2 to grade 6. The students of grade 1 are not given the report cards. The next difference is regarding report cards. For class 1 and 2, that is grade 1 and 2, grades are given to the students. For classes 3rd, 4th and 5th, marks and overall grades are given to the students in Kendra Vidyalai. Whereas in Kogani Elementary Schools, students are evaluated by scale of very good, good or needs improvement in a particular learning outcome or outcomes. In Kendra Vidyalai, except discipline, no other life skills are mentioned in the report card, whereas five life skills are mentioned in the report card of Kogani Elementary School. The last difference. There is a prescribed evaluation system for written test in grade 3 to grade 5 in Kendra Vidyalai, whereas there is no prescribed evaluation system for written test in Kogani Elementary School. Medium of instruction in Kendra Vidyalai is Hindi or English. Here I would say Hindi may not be the mother tongue of all the students who study in Kendra Vidyalai. Whereas in Kogani Elementary School, medium of instruction is Japanese. 